Hello friends, I'm Tony Powers with the Pooter Stomper channel and instructor at the Pathfinder School. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to keep your knife razor sharp while in the field. Now, my belt knife is always gonna be made of high carbon steel. There are many reasons for that, but we're not gonna go into all the reasons. Uh, that's a video all in itself. Uh, we're just gonna talk about how it relates to keeping your knife sharp. Now, high carbon steel is a softer metal so it will dull quicker but it's also easier to keep it sharp and if it does get too dull it's a lot easier to get it back to razor sharpness say compared to like a stainless steel knife i like a stainless steel knife as much as anybody else but they are hard to keep sharp while in the field they may hold an edge a little bit longer but you're going to be spending a lot of time trying to get it back to a razor sharp edge okay now real quick before we get started i just want to talk about the two most common types of blade grinds that will be on a knife. There is the Scandi grind and there is the convex grind. The Scandi grind is basically two angles that come to a point, normally an 11 degree angle on each side that meets at a point. And then there's the convex grind, which is a curve to a point like most ax heads. So we're gonna talk about uh, both of those types of blades. The one I have on me is a Scandi grind, but we're gonna talk about how to keep both of those grinds sharp. Let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is just a small leather strop. And I always keep one of these in my kit. Doesn't weigh anything, doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And all I've done is just took some clay compound and spread a thin layer on the leather. You can use real clay uh, if you have it in your area. Just put a light layer on there and make sure there aren't no rocks or anything like that in there, okay? So I am going to use a strop after every single task. I don't care if it's after making feather sticks, carving notches, uh, carving steaks, processing animals. I am going to use my strop as often as possible because the best way to prevent your knife from going dull is just keep it razor sharp at all times. Now the technique that I use, I'm actually gonna give Matt Mercer, AKA Black Hat Bushcraft credit for this. I used to just kind of go back and forth with medium pressure until it felt right. To me that took too long. It wasn't until Matt showed me this technique that I realize it can be done a lot quicker and a lot more efficient. Okay, so what he showed me is basically, after you register your bevel here, so we're gonna put, we're gonna put our knife on the leather strop and then we're going to tilt it up to match that angle. He showed me just to go back and forth five times with really hard pressure. So we're gonna go back and forth really hard with firm pressure. Okay, now once we've done that five times, we're just gonna lighten up the pressure a little bit. Think of medium pressure. We're just gonna cut that pressure in half there, and we're gonna go five times. Okay, now that we've done that five times, we're gonna finish this off with five more swipes back and forth, but hardly any pressure. Basically, we're just gonna touch it, not putting any pressure. I'm not pushing at all, but I am making sure that I keep that angle correct. Now that only took a minute, and I can tell just by feeling it that that sucker is razor sharp. There's a couple things you can do to know for sure. You can come in at your thumbnail at an angle, and when you touch it, if it stops, gets stuck it's razor sharp you can also take your knife and just kind of scrape your fingernail there and if it easily scrapes off some of your fingernail then it's razor sharp but what i like to do is and i'm running out of hair here if you ever meet me in person you'll see all kinds of bald spots on my arm and that's because that's how i tell if my knife is sharp we can go right down here i'm just going to very lightly touch my arm go down my arm and if it easily shaves the hair off your arm or leg then you know that sucker is razor sharp. So keep it razor sharp at all times. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can use your belt. Okay, now to use your leather belt, we're just gonna find something solid to strap our belt to.
okay? And you can do the same thing. Get you some clay compound and just put a light layer right here or some uh, regular clay. Just put a light layer on your belt. And before I get started on this, I just want to let you guys know this works better for a convex grind. If you remember what I said earlier, the blade curves to a point. This belt is actually going to curve a little bit and follow that same curve on a convex grind. So this is better for convex knives. But you can still sharpen your Scandi knife on a leather belt. But what's important to know is that if you only use a leather belt over a long period of time, this will slowly turn into a convex grind. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and it's the same exact technique as the leather strop. Try to pull that belt as tight as possible. And just go back and forth five times hard pressure, five times medium, five times light, just swiping it back and forth. Do that after every task, like I said, and it'll keep your blade razor sharp. Another important thing to remember is don't use your knife for things it's not designed for. It's not designed to be drove through the pelvis of a raccoon at the trapping class. Ask me how I know, okay? <laughs> I made that mistake. I should have used my ax, got in a hurry, drove my knife and batoned it through the pelvis of a raccoon as we were processing it, and I screwed up my blade. Ended up having to take a stone to it. So uh, just keep that in mind. You know, don't abuse your knives, and after each time you use it for a task, Take it to the strop. Keep that sucker razor sharp. It'll make your life a little bit easier. I'm Tony Powers with the Pooter Stomper channel. I appreciate you all watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and check out the links down in my description box. And I'll see you all on the next one.